Okay, we're picking up again on this photograph where our next step is to reduce some of the redness. Uh, we've already merged our layers up to the top here. If you haven't, you can do so now by hitting Command, Option, Shift, and E. That will bring them up to the top. So the area on this picture we want to work on is kind of the redness that's in the cheeks and maybe a little bit too much redness alongside the nose and the lips. Well, there's a way to do this with the target adjustment tool that is, I think, new or been around since about Photoshop CS3. If you click on your new uh, fill or layer adjustment on the bottom here, let's launch a hue and saturation layer. And once you have that box up next to the drop down menu where it says master, you can click the little finger and hand icon with the arrows. Click that once and hover over your picture. You see that you have a little bit of an eyedropper here. And what you can do is take a sample of the red area you want to correct by clicking once. It automatically registers that down here uh, in the bottom here and shows you the sample of what that redness looks like. Um, if you go back to that area of red, it knows also here that it's loaded the reds that we're going to be adjusting. If you go back in that area and hold your mouse down, you'll see an arrow with a left and a right arrow attached to it, a little hand up. If you slowly slide that to the left, Photoshop knows to adjust those red areas that you've sampled. If I go extremely to the left, you will see it's taking the color out of these key areas of the face where it's uh, seen that there's too much red uh, based on your sample point. So we don't have to go that far. We can go back down to maybe about uh, minus 25 or so. Cuts a lot of that red. And what you can do is also just click on the hue and saturation slider. And oftentimes, if you move the slider to the right, by a very few points, it does add a little bit of the yellow that was missing from that skin. So we can move it over to about point, or sorry, plus two or plus three does the trick and actually cuts a significant amount of that redness. Let's go up to the layer where we made that adjustment and click the eye icon and turn it off. That's before and that's after. It's a pretty good adjustment. Let's back out a little bit. Um, there's our before, a lot more redness, there's our after. Um, once you have that set up, we can do this another way too. So I'm going to drag this layer to the trash and show you something similar. I drag it down here, get rid of that layer, and we're going to start over again. If you don't have your info dialog box up, you can find it up here uh, in the uh, window uh, drop-down menu and just check your info box. What this is going to do is help us numerically assess the skin based on the RGB or CMYK values. Uh, once your info box is up, I mine sits next to my swatches. I'm going to click in it and go to panel options. And once panel options are open, just uh, let's say the second color readout, switch that to CMYK color and just say OK. It's in your second drop down box, just switch it to CMYK color and say OK. And what that does here in the uh, info box is that it allows us to kind of see the cyan, magenta, and yellow values that we will use to evaluate the skin. If we keep an eye on this window over here where the CMYK values are sitting, as I hover over my picture in uh, the red areas, you will see that these numbers keep changing. These numbers that appear here every time I'm over a red area will change. Um, one of the things we want to look for and one of the basic things to remember is that if you're trying to correct skin tone, you want to make sure that your magenta value is less than your yellow value. Your yellow value can be anywhere from 5 to 25 or 30 percent more than magenta, but um, the yellow value is certainly never less than the magenta value. So if I come over here, I can see that these numbers change. As I go to real red areas, I can see that they change significantly. Uh, the cyan value is usually the lowest. Uh, usually the magenta value is about double that, maybe 20 to 30 percent more than that. And the yellow can be anywhere from 5 to 30 percent more than the magenta. Just something to keep in mind, um, and we can assess this picture. Let's try this again. Let's go down here and launch a hue and saturation layer. Let's also um, click on the target adjustment tool and sample an area of red skin here. Now, when I sample it, the uh, sliders down here show me exactly where that came from. If I hover over with my dropper, we can see from our info box up on the top that the cyan is at 12%, the magenta is at 75%, and the yellow is at 84%. What I'd like to do is 
do an adjustment here based on dropping out certain areas of the red. What you can do is come back over to this box here where your hue and saturation is, select minus, the minus dropper, and go over towards an area of skin that looks like it's about right, where the yellow tones are not uh, really disrupted by the red. Click once, and it samples an area of that skin in here uh, to show us what we're going to affect. What I'd like to do is move to the bottom here and move your little slider in a little bit, that rightmost slider that extends into the yellow, move it in a little bit there, and take your magenta slider and move that in on the side here so that we're really only affecting this middle range of red. Once you've done that, you can click on your target adjustment tool, click on the top of the skin, and slowly move it back to the left as you hold down the mouse. And if I go all the way to the left, you can see it's dropping out some of the red in the lips and under the eyes. We can see it's turning gray, we've desaturated it fully, but we don't need to go that far to have this be effective. We can drop it down to roughly, let's say about 22%, and then again, we can move our hue saturation slider over. That shows you the areas it's affecting. We can move that over to just about plus three or plus four. We'll cut that significantly by moving it towards the blue. I have mine set at plus five. Uh, we've effectively reduced that red. Let's click that off. That's before and that's after. Um, just by moving our slider over a little bit here, the hue slider over towards five or six, Sometimes you don't even need to go up that high. You do effectively uh, decrease. If I bring it all the way to the left, you'll see the areas we're affecting. They turn magenta. That reveals what areas we're really going to be targeting. Again, I'm going to move that back over towards about plus 5. Plus 6 is fine. You've effectively kind of cut down there. You bring your saturation in just a little bit more. So I have mine set at about, let's say, about minus 15. That looks good to me. Let's turn it on and turn it off. We'll be right back with some more uh, tips on how to fix this skin and get this picture finished. We're going to be recovering some of the area under the eyes with the clone stamp tool set to lighten, and then we're going to take care of some airbrushing.